All right, good afternoon, ladies and gents. I'm about to make another program for you. This time we're going to cover the topic of variables and some data types in this video. We made a simple little program the other day called Hello World. I'm just going to make a brand new project right here today, another one with Gradle and a Java application. I'll hit next. Today we'll call it, oh, area. We'll just make a simple area equals length times width um, type program. Um, and we'll do it in two sections. We'll do it just interest, introducing data types and variables right now. It's similar to the program that's sitting in your book, so it's something that you can see me do and then you can kind of follow along in the book. And then um, I'll do another short video on um, scanners and getting data into the computer. All right, so we'll finish that up. We'll nicely set ourselves up here. Just take a second. Hopefully not too much longer. All right, we now have our area program ready to go. I'm just going to close off my Hello World application, and I will close it out of the other side here. Do not to delete it. Close it if you can, because closing just removes it from here. It doesn't delete it off the machine. Now, as per usual, um, we're going to start with some Java docs. Program to calculate area of a rectangle. Perfect author, that'd be me. And the date today is April 15, 2020. So there's my Java docs are done. We have our area class right here. And then we got our main method right in here. And we're going to start right inside the main method. Um, this is going to be a very simple program. It's not going to take us too long. Now, the thing that we're going to work with is variables. And of course, in math, you work the variables all the time. And we know that variables, of course, are values that can change at any time. They're basically placeholders for values. Now, when we use variables inside a programming language, we have to tell the computer we're going to use a variable. And we have to tell it what kind of variable. And the simplest numeric variable we can use is an integer which is just whole numbers, positive and negative. So whenever we want to do this inside the computer, we have to tell it, we have to declare the variable. So here I'm declaring int. Int is short for integer, and that's what we use. And then we give the variable a meaningful name. We don't like to use x's and y's in programming uh, unless it's really explicit for an x and y. We like to give our variables proper names. Um, so that it, as we go further down the program, it's easier to tell what it is that we're working with. So we know area equals length times width. So we're going to use variables just like that. So we got int length, and we'll give length a value immediately. We can give a variable a value in two ways. I can give it a value just like that immediately. Int length equals 10, no problem. Or I can declare the variable int length just like that. And then after I declare it, I can give it a value on a, de uh, value on a different um, on a different line, length equals 10. And that is exactly the same as doing it the other way. So I'm going to just, I'll show it to you two different ways. And then I'm going to do int width. And so there you are, two different ways of declaring a variable and giving it a value one on two lines, one on a single line. Obviously the single line is more efficient. And we need one more variable for this and we call it int area. Now it's also good form that if uh, we're using a making a simple program and we're using a simple number of variables, we declare all our variables in the same place. And that is up near the top of the particular, up near the, the um, top of the particular method that, that we're particularly building. So here we have our three basic variables all nicely set in. Now, next thing we're going to do is have it calculated out. So area equals length, ooh, there we go, times width. All right, area equals length times width. There's our mathematical formula. Whenever we do programming, uh, the answer the one that you're finding for answer always goes on the left hand side and the calculation always goes on the right hand side you know that as you get further up in your senior maths that you do you guys do exactly the same thing now it's great this will run it will run it will come up with an answer the problem is it won't give us an answer and um, or sorry it'll 
we won't be able to see the answer because we haven't told it to put the answer out anywhere. So what it will do if we run it is it'll take length because length has a value and plunk it in here and it'll take width because width has a value and it'll plunk it in here. Now what's also important to note is um, order of operations. This will work. The calculation is after we receive the values. If I take this and move it to the top, the answer will always be zero. The answer will always be zero because these things don't have any values. The values come afterwards. The program always works top to bottom. So make sure that when your calculations, when you're calculating them out, you always have values that you can calculate. Now to see our answer out, fairly straightforward, is going to be just a system.out.println or .print, doesn't matter, it's all going to be on one. And I'll show you a neat little trick here once we put in our parentheses. And I'm going to start with a quote. Instead of just getting a number, we're going to make it look a little better. We're going to say area of rectangle space equals space. Now that space equals space is going to space out the um, the text from our actual numeric value because this is in quotes. It's actually going to write out area of rectangle equals. Then after the quote what we're going to do is we're going to put a space and then a plus sign. Now this plus sign is not mathematical here. The plus sign is not mathematical here because we are in a system.out.print line um, right behind a set of quotes. So what this is going to do if I throw in the word area because the word area is outside of the quotes the program is going to treat it as a variable and you'll notice when I type area in here area lights up in these two other places to say that this area is the same as that area. So this will be treated as a variable because it's outside of quotes. This will be treated as text because it is inside of quotes. And really that's the entire simple area program. We're going to take it on a little further so that we can actually change these values at runtime. But right now we're just going to have a look at this and we're going to run it really quickly. Here we go. I'm running the program and you'll see down here area of rectangle equals 20. Perfect. Easy to read. If I change any one of these numbers and run it again, down at the bottom my value will change and that works. Now as far as data types, these things right here, int length. Int, of course, is short for integer. Plus or minus uh, up to about 2 billion is the size of numbers that we can use in int. Um, if you need to go have a number bigger than integer and you still want it to be a whole number, you put in the word long. Long gives us an absolutely insane amount of digits that we can use. Something like plus or minus one point or sorry nine point something to ten times the eighteenth which is crazy. Um, if you wanted to work with decimals use the double data type. Double will allow you to do decimals. Integers won't. If you use integers your answers will always be integers. There will never be any decimals. If you need decimals you use the double data type and the double data type um, is a rather large uh, can, can contain a large number of digits. It's plus or minus 1.9 times 10 to the 308th digits. It's absolutely crazy. Um, so our data types go in here. We must declare uh, our variables. If you wanted to use a constant, say for example you were wanting to use a constant um, making a making a formula that was using pi, because pi never changes of course, uh, we could do something like this. Final double pi equals 3.14. So that's declaring a constant, which is just like declaring a variable, except we say final, which means it can't change. 